So one of the ones you did, I think the first summarization you did was Jack Butcher. And you go through Jack Butcher's entire archive starting, what, 2013, and you find how he distilled his philosophy. What were some of the things that surprised you going along this journey? I think he discovered his philosophy and like further refined and iterated it over time. Um, he, what's amazing about the most prolific people who have a strong point of view is how they didn't have that in previous years. Like they, you know, um, gosh, there's like dozens of names flooding into my head right now, but <laughs> anyone that you respect and admire online or wherever, they didn't, they weren't born like that. Uh, it was like a crucible that they went through at some point that was difficult that like beat those ideas into their head. And the, those ideas like sort of that unique set of experiences, this is why you can't be interesting unless you do interesting things. Like you can't, you're not like, you can't be fascinating without like at least exploring some side of humanity that is like in a very real way, um, a visceral way. Um, but, but what Jack discovered, what I discovered about Jack and just like uh, inhabiting intellectually channeling him, and this is what I would like, those are the verbs I, that's the verb I use channel, um, is what for me, I was actually pursuing my own line of curiosity. It was like, how the hell did he become so declarative on Twitter? Like, how is he so fucking convincing on Twitter? And, uh, like he's such a good, like I, I, he's a designer, he's known as a designer, but I actually just don't think of him as a designer. I can never think of him that way. He's obviously compelling as a designer, but his true skill is communication and design is the medium that he uses to communicate. He's just a singularly good communicator of an idea. And the reason he creates these great designs is because he's like, what is the, the most interesting way to communicate this thing, this thought, this concept? And so I said, did that like evolve over time? So I was, I was simply trying to ask myself a question. Did, was he born with it or not? And so I just looked at, at that time in early 2020, I downloaded his whole Twitter timeline and uh, there were fewer than 3000 tweets at the time, which is mind boggling because he tweets so often nowadays. Um, and he can do that because he sort of has the point of view completely hammered in now. Um, but he, at the early stages, wasn't nearly as declarative. Like it was more like there were qualifiers. There were, unav there were avoidable qualifiers that he would attach to a thought. Now he just deletes those qualifiers. You know what I mean? Um, and uh, he takes a position, like a, uh, even if it's not nuanced, he will just state a declarative thing and let other people react to it. But, but, but it took, 15, 10 years or so in the corporate advertising world, doing this on behalf of Ferrari, on behalf of you know Nike and many big corporations, um, and like the the imperative to convey a thought succinctly is what he learned in that experience, and now he's applying it in a different context on his own, but um, the magic was like sort of steeled. Uh, and to, to use like a manufacturing metaphor, it was like the smelting of it occurred in the corporate advertising world. Um, and you could just see it naturally evolve. And then I'll make one final point about this. When I like just had an Excel spreadsheet of 3000 tweets of his, and you start to like group them, what you do is you take them all apart um, and a Microsoft Word file, you like take everything into an individual atomic unit, and then you group all of the similar ones together and reorder them into some narrative flow. That's essentially what I do. And when I did that with 3,000 tweets, only 20 big ideas fell out of it. Like mm -hmm. he basically says 20 things over and over again. And um, so I believed from that experience, you could do that with anyone who's prolific. Uh, so I started to actually just tackle people one at a time as they sort of seized my attention. 